in that is exactly how Amazon shipped it. A little SD card that's supposed to be almost invisible on your computer, really, when you put it in. This is how they ship it. Look how tiny that thing is. So I bought the 64 gig because um, it's going to be on the back of my modem or my modem, my router. And uh, I don't need it much bigger than that. It's just a small transfers. So there's nothing in there. Nothing more in there. It says 64 gigs, 130 uh, write speed. We're going to test the transfer speed because that's kind of what I need to use it for. Instant plug and play storage. Full length movies in less than 30 seconds. Private scan disk. USB 3.1, which means it should go. Oh, Jesus. Works on all Windows. Clip to Windows 10. English, 1 gigabyte. You know it's going to have some missing, but we'll even check to see how much is missing. Cut along there to get it apart. There we go. Actually, I could just rip it. wanting to come out there we go so little so it has a little hook if you wanted to yeah, that's not a SD card slot that's to put lanyard kind of thing on it looks like it goes clear into up here made in Malaysia and it's got little numbers on it skin disc it is blue in there now let's go try it out do not mind everything you see in this photo. This is where my computer sometimes sits. <laughs> this is my USB 3.0 port, 3.1, whatever. And they're already being used, so I really don't feel like pulling them out. So, plug it right into the port. First time ever. I would say it's the size of a dongle. Little things for your, if you weren't using Bluetooth. You see it? Pretty nice. Now, let's go over to the computer. Screen show reflection. So, I have a little bit of video that I could transfer it. Look, it's coming up. Scan disk. Secret. It looks like it comes with a bunch of stuff. Let's see what's on it. Oh, quick start guide. How much of a quick start guide do you really need? Tells you how to make it so it's private so nobody gets on the files that are on the device. It's kind of nice. And that switches to a different language. That's pretty cool. I am going to delete the Mac one. And transfer that over somewhere else so I can check it out later. So I have a little bit. Here, that's 3 gigabytes. 3.4 gigabytes. I'm on a transfer that over we'll see how fast it transfers oh there's actually a vault inside this thing if i click on it what does it do powered by encrypt stick pretty cool there's an update let's update it kind of like my onedrive my onedrive has a vault on it but it's an online device, so it makes a little bit more sense. That is right when I click on it, too. Crap. There it is. It's updating right there. You probably have a glare. It's harder for you guys to see. That application now will need to restart and update. Update logger enabled. Log file was created here. Application is loading. It just loaded another thing, checking for updates. Welcome to private access. Agree. Create password, confirm password, password hint. And I'm sure that's gonna let's get you in here. I'm gonna put in just a weird password. I'm actually gonna put you guys down below on my computer. So I can put in a password. It wants an uppercase letter and a number like a period or explanation mark and there we go 
I just clicked OK. Four ways to protect your files. Drag and drop onto the main screen. Copy and paste the photos onto the main screen. Add files. Backup data. Don't show again. And there we go. I don't know if these are protected or what. I'm going to just... This feels like it's online, but I'm going to exit that. And I guess you leave this stuff alone. That kind of sucks. So if I click on that, does it want a password to get in? It wants a password. Let's see if I can put that password in. Okay, typed in the password. And it puts me right in. So I'm guessing that you don't delete this stuff. So how much room does it really take? How much room does it have? It's 57.2 gigabytes. Now let's see if I drop a picture in there or something. I'm just going to drop it right in without unlocking it. And it wants a password. So you can't just drop it in. you got to unlock it every time. And then the file goes right in. So if I want to open that file, does it have to sign in? Nope, it's right there. I'm going to leave that there. So, this being an SD card, you could just drop your stuff anywhere. So I remember I pasted, oh, I gotta go get it again. Let's see how fast it actually transfers a file. So we're up to 40, 58 megabits, and it's stuck right at 50 of transferring 58 now I'm kind of comparing it to this because this takes up a little bit of room you put an SD card in there and this can transfer at 150 no problem 150 to almost 160 and it's scanned this too this thing is amazing it's only 12 bucks so now it's down to 22 so as it's getting hotter it must be slowing down it's really slowing down down to 22, solid 22 now. Let's see if it ramps back up. It may just be some complex files for it. This is actually what I use for my GoPros. This really doesn't have to be too fast. Um, I was kind of hoping for it to be close to what it said because 22 megabits isn't even close missing almost a hundred <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <baby. laughs> okay so it never got faster which isn't too bad for the back of a router because your internet has to transfer at the a higher speed than what this can write if you really want to use the full potential so uh now it's down to 17 so if it was a pretty large file it would probably just get hotter and hotter and hotter and as they get here i'm gonna feel it see how hot it is hmm, a bit warm this thing gets so hot when you touch it it's like melting but i bet you i put at least 100 terabyte through that thing now we're down to an 18 i really feel like it would just keep crumbling down to where it's just too hot and it shuts down. But for what I'm using it for, I, I think I'll use it. I I don't have that fast internet, probably never will. Yeah, there we go. Went back up to 18 right at the end, and that was only a 3.4 gigabyte file. Let's see if it, yep, I used exactly 3.4. There we go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps someone. Claimed 130, pulled a 18 after a minute and a half of using. Thanks.